Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Spotty Stream, everybody. How's everybody doing? Hopefully, it's uh, been a good day for you all because I mean, it's going to be a good day. Uh, even more. That doesn't make any sense, but it's going to it's gonna be good. Don't worry. We have a great match for you, and fortunately, the stream is back up and running like it should be. You know, it's always a good thing whenever the stream is working. As it will be a Black Lion Championship Series matchup. Radiance Era versus Silly Geese Club. About to go live. Just give it a couple of minutes and... Well, we'll get this series underway shortly. As both teams here... Ready for, I'm sure, a night of fun. This is going to be a night of fun. As uh, the, 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 we do have our um, stream up, we have our uh, game up, just making sure that ultimately everything is working well before we get our series started. Again, I know, I know Radiance is a pretty big org, so... I expect that we're going to see some Radiance fans uh, jumping on in soon enough, but for right now, both teams have five players each. And my phone, I need to turn that off. <laughs> there you go. And uh, I, the big thing about this match especially is Silly Geese Club. We've seen them on stream multiple times before. Well, they're back on again. They have not lost yet this season. Quite an, uh, quite an impressive record for them, being the, I believe being the only team in their group to be 3-0. Well, most teams, they don't usually end off the season free, uh, undefeated. But, so we'll see how far Zilligus Club go. They might go the whole way, who knows. They do, they do have seven matches to make sure they can, that they have to win if they want to keep that undefeated record throughout the entire regular season. In fact, they're actually not the only team that's undefeated. They also have EV Cronus that's also 3-0. That'll be an interesting matchup. But in week four, yes, Silly Geese Club do have to play Radiance Era. Radiance Era, two and one, suffering their loss to Kronos, so... You know, losing to an undefeated team is not really a bad thing. You, know, you, you don't see it often when a team... You know, you don't... You, 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 a lot of times you see upsets, upsets and such uh, because of uh, stuff like this, so... Wait, 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 because of stuff like this, because of maybe teams underestimating each other just because of the record, two and one is still a strong record. Every team... In this series has to be uh, considered a threat uh, because ultimately they can you can still lose to uh, a lot of other teams here that are playing be just because you may not treat them the same way or maybe because they had a tough run up or maybe they had a bad match there are so many reasons why any team can win these series the record is one of the easiest ways to do that it's one of the easiest ways to compare teams and right now City Geese Club 3 and oh, Radiance Era Two and one. Uh, just based on record alone, you'd have to give the favoritism to Silly Geese Club, and I've seen them play multiple times before. They are a strong team, a team that does not let up very often. They will make you fight for your matches. They will make you fight for your wins. I mean, every team in this league does it, but Silly Geese Club, they're 3-0 for a reason. They've gone up against many formidable opponents. In week one, they bait mad synergy. Week two, they took down a Lapras, which we saw on stream. In week three, we saw them sweep N7 Hyrule. But here is a massive opponent for them. Radiance Era, currently rated higher than all few of those other teams. The Radiance Era being considered the best 3-1 record team. This is going to be a real tough matchup. The more you look at this series, uh, the more you are unsure on who to pick. But there's that prediction poll. Go pick who you think will win. Do you think it will be Radiant Zero? Do you think it will be Silly Geese Club? To win this series in the Lockline Championship Series Contender Series. Again, the lobby is up for the teams. We'll let them get... They, the match start time is in just about three minutes from now. We'll see exactly what happens.
We gotta make sure to get your predictions in for this series. Should be a good one. Should be a close one. Phoenix Era, in the last two times they've been on stream, they've swept their opponents. I doubt that's going to happen this time. Against a team like Radiant Era, who, again, has stronger records in the teams they, than all three of the other teams that Slaggy's Club have played. This is gonna this could be a wake-up call for Slaggy's Club, especially in game one. Radiant Era are gonna come out, they're gonna play their style. I think it might catch Slaggy's Club off guard. They have not again, they have they have only played teams that are in that lower half of the of the uh, grouping right now. Radiant Era is in that upper half. They're one of the tough teams. They're the again, they're the best, I believe they're the best three and one team right now in their division. In their group, I should really say, because the division has many teams. But their group has about eight. Radiant Zero is going to, again, it's going to give Siligi's Club a run for their money. We'll see if the Siligi's Club story will take a bit of a, a pit stop here. Or if Radiant's Era go to a level record against a formidable, undefeated opponent. I expect some great matches here. I do. I really do. I expect... I expect these teams to come out to show up and, and to really give us a fun series. Just waiting. We just got... Silly Geese Club to have just joined. We're now waiting on Radiance. And it looks like for Silly Geese Club, it'll be Arm, Aha, and Delve. That usual starting lineup for them. Radiance, the lineup that Tiger's given me, looks like their starting lineup will be Tiger, Descent, and PK. But of course, these teams can substitute whenever they want to. And we'll see if that comes into play. We don't see a lot of substitutions in Black Line. It's generally something that most teams don't do. Most teams are really good with their starting lineup. But when it comes to those subs, it's a hit or miss kind of thing. I have seen teams do substitutions, and it's not uncommon, but you don't see it often either. As no, it's going to be Tiger, Descent, and Unonak playing. No, it is PK. It says it, PK's name just starts with Un. Nice one, PK. Here we go. We're ready. Let's get our series started. We can start a little bit earlier than usual. I'm sure the players do not mind. If you haven't been to the, if you haven't been to the stream, welcome. My name is Sporty FC. If you have, welcome back. We got some Black Line Championship Series action for you tonight. On the blue, our Radiance Era. On the orange. Silly Geese Club, do they continue that 3 0 streak or do Radiance Error, their toughest opponent so far, hand them a loss? A best of five to figure that one out. Now, everybody, you're ready for the series to come. Here we go. And really, I think for Radiance Error, it's going to be coming out hot. I want to see how Silly Geese Club are going to react to this because against Error, I expect Error to kind of catch Silly Geese Club off guard. Silly Geese Club. I've had, I don't want to say easier, because there's no easy opponents in this thing, but they have had, on the stat sheet, at least weaker teams to play against. And we saw that in the two matches that they played against Lapras and N7 Hyrule. They swept them both. So, they so they've so they shown that they are better than the teams below them, but what about Radiance Era, a team that is much closer to them in the standings? And that's going to be the question that Silly Geese Club need to answer. As right now, they do have some offense. That's a shot there, but easily cleared away by Descent. As we are just trying to see which team is going through. But right now, both these teams, no real issues so far. Although that double commit from Southeast Club could make things a little weaker for them. But they get it out. A good second touch from Arm. And while PK does have the ball for free, Southeast like Club are going to get some space, but... You can see already being pushed back pretty far here. Silly Geese Club playing in front of the net. This is not a good position. And the will score. Radiance error. Off to the races already. And you can see as soon as Silly Geese Club gone to that awkward position, Arm was caught facing the wrong way towards his net. He was going back towards his net. Really couldn't get that strong clear out that he wanted to. The best he could do was back flip flick it. But only laid it in front of the net. Had to contend with the second shot. And that time, well, it was just a little too much for him. And I told you, Radiance Era, I think they're going to come out strong. This game one will be their game to really shut down at Silly Geese Club. Silly Geese Club already another awkward play on defense. That net was open for a smidge there, but not taken advantage of by Radiance Era. Although the chances are coming. And Silly Geese Club 
Seems like it's a bit difficult for them to make offense, but they are making it off the back wall. No follow up here. Dell's waiting all the way back. It's a two on one. And Raiden's era botch it. The sand, you can see he wanted to go for that passing play outward. Yeah, Radiant's era could get a second goal, but he missed it. It was too high. Needed to keep it low and grounded to allow his teammate to come in for a bit of a hook shot. Radiant's era making opportunities for themselves. So the Geese Club, you can see a lot of these plays from the ceiling. They're trying to get passing plays in field, but Radiant's Era proving to have some resistance. Although you do feel at some point, so the Geese Club can break through, get those uh, golden opportunities. And in a game like this, they've done pretty well at getting opportunities for themselves, but they now need to convert. Radiant's Era now back the other way, trying to make it two. Tiger off the off the back wall, cleared back by Delve. To the Geese Club. Put the ball out. Delve across. Now oh, there's a demo as well. PK. I thought you wanted you want a little more power on that. Has it hit the uh, has it inadvertently hit the bottom of his car? Chance for Silly Geese Club. Nets looking open. Saved in the line by PK. Here comes the scent to clear. Silly Geese Club had an opportunity there with an odd man break, but they couldn't convert. The scent though, he's been converting all game long. His second goal here. As another one where he catches a Silly Geese Club player facing towards the own net in a shadow defense play. That second effort was what converted it, was what made the goal for Radiance. And right now in game one, leading 2 0. PK towards the net, delve to keep it close. Here comes Tiger. No shot there, he's still going to keep it close, pass out to the sense. Here comes Delve, he's got a flick past one. Second player is waiting for it. Here comes Arm, dunked away by PK. Radiance Era. Trying to play that waiting game here. Milking time off that clock. Descent to pinch it off the back wall. It's gonna bounce in front. Here comes Delve to clear, but PK responds. Aha! It's a touch away, but... So the Club, they've been backed into their own half right now. But now is not the time. They need to get goals. Again, they're getting chances, but... You can see that it's just not working. Radiance Error has been cutting off those infield passing plays. That seems to be the bread and butter of Silly Geese Club. Anytime you see them play, they go to look for each other. You can see that those passing plays aren't working. They're starting to go more to a solo effort sort of gameplay. And right now, getting desperate. Silly Geese Club, they need a goal. They need one soon. This one will find its way in a line to send saves. Here comes Delph. Can't get past PK. Radiant, uh, Radiance Arrow almost caught th themselves there with that pinch back towards their own net. Descent barely able to get that one off the line. Being of Descent has two goals so far. Radiance Arrow trying to make opportunities, but AHA to clear. One. Potential follow up from Arm. You can't get it. Here comes AHA though. Where's that? Arm's going for the demo play. He'll drop in front for Delve. Saved away by Tiger. Here comes Arm to follow. Off the crossbar. No more follow-ups for Silly Geese Club. And that really was the opportunity they needed to score that one. Multiple chances. It just went off the post and it went off the crossbar. Silly Geese Club can't buy themselves a goal right now. And that will reflect in that scoreline. 2-0 Radiance Era. We'll take game one. Two shots from Descent was all that they needed. Silly Geese Club looking for a double tap maybe to get one goal on the road, but... Nothing comes to them. Radiance Era will take game one. Maybe let them last second heroics, though. Here comes the set. That one will hit the ground. So Radiance Era will not get a third goal this game, but... Still, Silly Geese Club. A tough start. They had a formidable number of shots there. But Arm, the player that's usually known to be the one converting... Uncharacteristically characteristically missing, missing his mark. And you find that the Geese Club, they had the chances, but that conversion rate needs to be higher. Six shots, they really should be scoring on one, at least one shot that they had, but... Unfortunately for them, they are handed a loss in Game 1. The Geese Club now, ready to start into Game 2, maybe with a different mindset here. It was not a game one that they wanted.
But you're in the game too, Southern Geese Club. This is where they make that response. I did predict Radiant's Arrow would come out with a bit of a good swing here, but Southern Geese Club, it's all about responding to that pressure now. And converting on more chances, because they had the offense to do it. They had the passing plays, they had the openings. But ultimately, if you don't score goals, you're never going to win these games, and Southern Geese Club, they were shut out last game. In its era, played strong defense, but I think it more so came to the Southern Geese Club offense, really. Just not good shooting efforts. Arm had four shots, really should be a, a, really known for his conversion rate on those opportunities, and he didn't score at all that game. Still, though, for Southern Geese Club, reset their mentality for game two. Looking to see if they can get themselves back into this series. As now Descent kind of given a free opening here. Flick off the back wall. Follow up from PK. Saved away by arm. Bit too slow of a response there from Radiance Era. The 1v1v2 1v, 1v2 play was perfect. But where was that follow up? Both teams seem to be holding themselves back a little bit on offense when it comes to these chances. And you can see it plagued them. Right now they're trying to... Find their way back up. Descent the clear. Arm to push it back to the blue end. EK lets it drop. Pass in front for Delve. This one will be past two players, but will off the sidewall. And again, no response from another player on offense from one of these teams. These second chances are going to be what scores most of the goals. And surprisingly, these teams are playing so defensively. Radiant's error, they got both their goals because of their second chances. Their first chances were great, but their second chances were what made it happen. That's what actually went in. And here's a first chance from Tiger, saved away by arm. For most of these teams, first chances will never go into the back of their own net. It's always respond it's always being able to respond multiple times. Generally, it'll take two, three, maybe even four opportunities to get a goal. But, ah, uh, back the other way. Open net. Off the post. Still in front. Delve to finish it off. And Silly Geese Club. As soon as I talk about both teams not being able to score. Well, they got a free one here as no one was back for Radiant's era. An odd miss rotation. Silly Geese Club now up 1-0. Dem Descent with the demo. Pass in front to PK. Can't put that one in. Descent. This one will be cut off by Dell. Tiger not willing to risk challenging in for that one. One in front. Two players miss the ball. Tiger to clear it away. Second touch for Tiger towards the net. It's left open. And PK will finish this one off. Not like he had to, but, you know, just for extra great measure, he puts on that finisher. And he adds some speed to it as well. Tiger successfully outplays Aha, who just stuck, stayed on the ground there. Did not expect Tiger to get jump up immediately for that second touch. Silly Geese Club player left, grounded. As now Radiance Era moving upfield. Here comes Tiger in front. Descent misses this one, and PK had so much faith in that. He was so far up, he has to remove himself now. Delve to flick, second touch off the post. Silly Geese Club. Had another opportunity there for a clear a shot on net, but they misses it wide. Here comes another one. PK misses. Ah, uh -huh. pass in front. And Radiance Air, they're making some uh, wild mistakes on defense right now. These miss rotations, these whiffs, not expected from them. But they haven't been converted on uh, all that often from Silly Geese Club. Still stuck at a tied game. And again, with these teams, I need to see them be a little more aggressive with that second man in rotation that second shot needs to come from these teams that they want to get goals you're never going to have that perfect first opportunity that goes in all that often did you gotta rely on sometimes getting scrappy B goals going for second shots going for second chances at that point the defenses are going to be less organized they're going to be a lot more chaotic that's what offenses want to do they want to create that chaos but for right now both teams just trying to build the best first opportunity they can here comes Arm, dribble, and flick, wide of the net. A demo on the way back, though. Both teams getting pretty aggressive here. Another demo from Silly Geese Club. Rains air defense in shambles right now. But a great challenge on Tiger will at least replenish their boost meters. A chance, an open net. PK will score it. 
Boy, we've seen some really bad misrotations so far. This time, Delve jumping in for that challenge. Aha was not getting back fast enough for Delve's liking. And that challenge will leave the net open. And at Radiant's error now, late in game two, they have a lead. Arm. Looking for a pass out, but Tiger's there to cut it off. Radiant's error though. If they get one more goal, surely that would be the end of it. The Geese Club though, they can respond back. 30 seconds to do so. Descent beats on the challenge. Delve dunked away by Descent. Here comes Aha. A potential second touch, but cleared away by Era. Delve will chip it off the Silly Geese uh, Club backboard. Arm to follow. Arm. Drop down to Delve, but it does go behind him. He'll have to take some time to get back to it. Flick past PK. Second touch there from Arm. Uh, beats the scent. Here comes Arm. Off the corner. In front. No follow-up there. Silly Geese Club, it's still in the blue half. But all Radiant's Era have to do is let it hit the ground. Delve can't read it. And Radiant's Era, they do have it hit the ground. And now they're leading the series 2-0. A close game too, but... This one defined not by the second chances, not by miracle offensive plays, but instead by errors, by mistakes. As, excuse me there for that mistake there with uh, adding that to Silly Geese Club. Silly Geese Club have not won a game yet. And, they're, and they are now only one game away, potentially, from losing the first series of the circuit, losing that perfect record. Radiance era... I, I, I mean, I expected them to come out strong, but this, this is a lot more than what I expected from them. This doesn't say anything bad, but I, I expected Silly Geese Club to at least take one, one to at least take games one or two, but no, Radiance Era is coming out swinging. Incredible performance from them. They're able to edge themselves away, uh, away from Silly Geese Club. They've only considered one goal to them, and that was this game. You go to our third game. And do Silly Geese Club. Looks like they're taking this whole minute to reset. Trying to see if they can get those wheels in motion. Because right now, they've been screeching to a halt. For this entire uh, series thus far. But game three. Silly Geese Club now have to win every game on out. If they want to take this series. It's error. All they need is one more. Descent. Looking out for Tiger. Tiger. Ooh, the orange net. Radiance error. And look for an early lead, but it will be back to the blue half. Descent, not a great touch out here, but against Silly Geese Club, they play a lot more defensively this game. They're playing a lot more hesitant, a lot more reactive. And you can see that's uh, that's not allowing them to get up to some challenges where I think they should be going for. Again, when it comes to these second shots, these teams... I mean, that was what won it for Radiance Arrow in Game 1, but in Game 2, none of these teams really took that initiative to put that second player up a little higher. Here comes Aha, though, second touch, and he fools the scent on the way down. To the Geese Club, Aha, catching the scent napping as... Why, the scent, he left it, he went back for boost just because he didn't think Aha had that one. And Aha, Aha, he said, no, I actually do. He gets that second touch. Radiance error there, caught with an amazing solo play from Aha. The plays like those only come once in a, in a blue moon. The Geese Club need to add more to this tally if they want to take a game against Radiance Era. Era though, building offense. Here comes Tiger, trying to look for a doomsday dish potentially. Wasn't was unsuccessful in that attempt, but you always try things out. Tiger though, this one, an army pre jumped his shot, got the save on that one too. Delve to dribble. Delve's got the flick past one, potential second, but can't bump PK in time. Tiger misses this one entirely, so the Geese Club will have offense once again. Arm, two touches down. Looking for maybe a dunk on PK. We'll bump him out instead. And Silly Geese Club. Again, this first man, they're not afraid to get those bumps and demos. Unlike their second man, who maybe has had issues with being aggressive, their first man has done very well. As Delve there, with an absolute laser into the back of the blue net. No one expected that one out of any, out of, any of the players here. Definitely not the Radiance Air players, definitely not me. Delve just gets that goal. It was fast. You blink and you miss it. And now, and now Silly Geese Club lead this game by two. Descent in front for Tiger. Saving the line by Delve. Follow through 
Not coming yet. Descent has boost, has ball control. We'll look for it in front. Aha's there. Era trying to contest Radiant's era. A demo from PK. Oh, and he gets another one too. One player left for Silly Kids Club. The net looking a bit shaky. Arm is there. Tiger. Delve. It's a flip reset on the way out. Aha, light touch under. And Silly Kids Club. Descent to follow, to pinch in front. Tiger to demo. Here comes Arm to flick. Past one. Net is looking open. Descent will not get back in time. Reigns there. They push their cards into that offensive play. But ultimately, too aggressive from PK as second man. You need, a second man, you need to be wary of what your third man's doing. If they're not back in time, then challenges like those are not good challenges at all. But there, you can see they're trying to force things now. They're down by three. They're going to have to continue to do that. They want anything to work against Silly Geese Club. Still half the game left, though. And whatever Silly Geese Club can do, Radiance Air can do right back. Well, maybe not. Arm, arm just scored. <laughs> so, here I was hyping up Radiance Era. And, and Silly Geese Club now have absolutely shut me up. Here comes Arm with the goal. And if I believe, and if I'm sure, that might be his first goal of the series. No, it's, just, it's it, he's got two this game, but... Arm, he's scoring a little more. As, he's going more as the series goes on. Definitely a good thing for Silly Geese Club. Arm, generally considered their goal scorer. At least that's what I remember him as in their series. He's getting himself on the score sheet. Descent. Dunked by Arm. Aha to follow. He's going to put this one lightly in front. Tiger. It's a bit awkward on that back wall there. Jumps maybe a bit too early. But he still gets enough on it. To get it away. A double commit from Era, but Tiger in. Double commit. No problem. Tiger will be the only player left in the air there for Radiance Era. But he puts in the follow through. And for once, the pre jump defense from Silly Geese Club does not get there in time. Even though Aha was very close to doing so. Pre one goal. Up, three goals to go for Indians Air if they want to take game three. They're going to have to work very fast to do that, though. Arm. Carrying the ball. PK is there to challenge a bump. And here comes Tiger. Another goal for Indians Air. It's starting to mount a comeback. Tiger scored another goal this game. This one. Just catching Delve, waiting for that ball to be perfectly for him to dribble out. Delve likes to go for dribbles out of defense, and sometimes that means he has to wait a little bit. Ains Era catches him there on his own line trying to do that. And so the Geese Club now. I have to slow down this momentum. Tiger. Sidewall. Maybe a pass in front to the scent. Arm to cut it off. Second shot. No, it's a first shot. It's actually off the post. And he bumps out the follow through. Three. It's a two on one. Here comes PK and Tiger. Bump a tempo on Delve. It doesn't connect, but it's good enough. And PK will score. As for Delve, unfortunately, he has to avoid Tiger's uh, dem uh, demo attempt. And get that save. Just too much to handle. Era. We're down four goals in this game at one point. And now only one away from tying it up. With over a minute remaining, Silly Geese Club, while they're in the lead, they're still the ones that are probably the most nervous right now. If they lose this game, that will be it for the series. Descent in front. Tiger doesn't connect. PK shot in. Arm is waiting for it. A demo attempt from PK trying to open up this net for Era. This descent off the back wall. Ah, uh, gets enough to force Tiger to not be able to shoot. PK up. Light touch, looking for a second on Delve. Descent doesn't get the save. Still in front for Delve. Bouncing around. Oh, Adian's arrows flying all over the place. Here comes Aha. He's missed. Shot. Saved by PK. Era really want this game badly. They'll do anything they can to get themselves their chance. Delve. Chain dashes. Pass in front, potentially. No, he has to get the dunk on Descent instead. Era, will he even get that opportunity? Descent. Tiger. Radiance Era. Trying to break out of defense here. Tiger. Off the corner. Aha to clear. They have to go the entire length of the field here for Radiance Era. But it will not happen. To the Geese Club. Save that, save that comeback attempt. 
And they do take a game in the series. The question is if they can add more against Era. And a tough start in game three. As right now, game four ahead of us. This has been a crazy series for Sleeky's Club. It's a daunting task to go ahead. But ultimately, this is a start. A good start for them. But they need to add more. As right now in this series, they're still down. This, though, can, they can force game five now. They can't win it yet for Silly Geese Club. But they have the chance to get them in that position. They just need to win this game. But the great start they had last game with Arm getting himself on the scoreboard more. Seems like things are working for Silly Geese Club, but still. Adiant's era have the ability to flip it on a, on a dime. And in game four, this is going to be the real true test for Silly Geese Club. Can they do this consistently? Radiant's era, they're going to try to make sure that, that doesn't happen. His arm now, trying to clear, but Descent will get through him with that challenge. Aha, uh -huh, dunked away by Descent. An absolute nuisance right now for Tiger! And that will be a goal! And really, more of this goes onto the abilities of Descent rather than, than the captain. As he gets two massive dunk plays to set him up, Tiger will not have an issue finishing that one off. That shot looked harder than it really... It looked easier than it really was. It was not an easy shot, but still... Those dunk plays set him up. Descent. He's been in a real huge offensive powerhouse right now. He's not always been the one scoring for his team. But he seems to be involved in any offensive play. And I think a lot of that comes to him liking to stay upfield more often. The issues with that for Radiant's Arrow, though, is that, as we've seen, is that they do overcommit sometimes. Although this one, not from an overcommit. Just from a, a bump attempt from AHA. Getting PK in a position where he can't make that touch. And this game is tied up. Before I can really finish off my compliments with, with Radiant's Era. And yeah, I think I think you do it say correctly, Florio. This has been this has been a nail biter. As Arm gets that save. My goodness. How did Arm get that? I didn't even have enough time to react to that one. He just fell in front of his net, coming up as much as he could, made himself look as big as possible. I can't believe what I saw there from Arm. And Arm's gonna score as well from his own defensive half. I mean, he's doing everything right now, Arm. He's got an assist, and now he's got a save, and now he's got a goal. And for Silly Heath Club, now they have a lead in game four. Still chances here for Radiant's Arrow to come back, but Silly Heath Club, a pristine start. To what they're trying to do. A reverse sweep. PK demoed. Aha coming in with a free touch. Off the back wall. No second. It might favor Arm. Touch at the last second. PK upfield. Arm is there. And you and Delve, you can see, he's waiting downfield for that one. He's hoping to maybe receive that pass. Said he has to come back to defense to help out his team. Arm. Uh, Aha, sorry. And this one, descent shot. You see a lot of these redirect plays coming out from Radiance Era. Haven't really tested... Uh, silly Geese Club all that much. They've been mostly slow and inconsequential. I want to see them use those plays to maybe set up other teammates in front for better shooting opportunities. As another dunk play. Era is going for many dunk plays here. And it must be blisteringly difficult for Silly Geese Club knowing that they're that close to getting the ball out of their own half. But immediately having it go back the other way. Still though, they'll be happy with this lead. A well-fought lead as well. But that one, an overcommit potential from Silly Geese Club. Aha just gets enough of this one to get it away. Dove clears it upfield. Tiger's up first. It's for Arm, but not before PK is up. Tiger to follow. Where comes Descent? This one towards Net. And Silly Geese Club, all the players were off that line there. Dove at the race back. PK. Dunks out arm successfully. Delve. Dunks by Tiger. Uh, someone get a dunk counter up here. I believe that's at least five this game. 
from the uh, from the Radiance Era team. But ultimately, those dunks have only helped them get to one goal in this game, and they've been uh, starved of goals ever since the very start here. Or even had four minutes remaining. This one pass in front, though. A dunk goal. We saw a dunk assist this game. Let's get a dunk goal. It's PK to score. And I mean that pass from Tiger was great, but it was red PK though. He kept himself enough distance that that dunk would actually go into the net. Just like that, the Silly Geese Club lead is now no more. They're gonna have to fight their way back. Aha. Uh -huh. Looking for a pinch. Tiger will leave it. He's gonna come back to it here. Ah, uh, though, towards that blue net. It's off the crossbar. Silly Geese Club, they've been denied by that fourth man multiple times. And at some point... At some point, you think they're going to get, like, they get their lawyers in touch. Go sue. <laughs> Go sue that crossbar, because seriously, it has been stopping them on so many of these goals. EK. Good touch here. Descent. And maybe to the back wall, but cleared back by arm. Aha. Uh -huh. But Tiger is waiting for it. Delve. Tiger in front for descent. Looking for a redirect. Can't get it. Aiden's era. Right now have the offense. They have the chances to get that lead and maybe even win. We're in the final minute here. Game four. Game two. Eerily similar to this. Aiden's era. Was tied and they got a late goal here to get themselves that win and be just enough. Well, now in game four, they're trying to recreate that. We've not gone to overtime yet in this series, though. I would be very happy to see that. Overtime. I know the teams would hate to have overtime, but overtime's fun for a reason. It's exciting. And you see how these teams play under that pressure. Right now, though. Pressure on both teams. Radiance Arrow, they know that if they lose this game, they only have one more chance and that momentum will all be against them. They really don't want to be in that position. They want to just end the series here. Descent trying to harass Aha. Out in front. Tiger to the back wall. Demo. Second touch. Drop down for Descent. But Delve to clear. We will go to OT. One more goal could end the series. But for Silly Geese Club, one goal from them will get us to Champions Field. Tiger off the back wall. Delve misses. Descent saved with the one by arm. Every save made by Silly Geese Club will keep this series going. Aha. Uh -huh. Pass in front to Delve. Double commit force from Radiance Era. Tiger misses. PK, last one back. Pinched out in front. Aha uh -huh up. Aha uh -huh off the back wall. Descent needs to read this. He will towards that corner. You can see Silly Geese Club, they're picking up the pace. They're trying to out... They're trying to be faster than Radiance Era. Up to the ball quickly. Aha seems to have a, a fury here to go for that ball quickly. But so far, you haven't been able to get that winning strike. PK. Clearing the ball away. Radiance Era. How do they do under this pressure? Knowing that the series really is this close. What goal can they put in and win this series, or are they going to crumble to Silly Geese Club? Descent. Touch outfield. Hook shot, attempt. No, he's gonna wait. Flick pass, Delve! Arm is back! Arm makes another crazy save on the line. Here comes PK. This one in front. Tiger's shot. Delve is waiting there. Arm once again. The savior for his team. This one saved away by Aha. Delve dunks away by Tiger. This one in front. Both goals from Era have been from dunks. This one won't though. Arm can't get to this one in time. And neither can Delve. Silly Geese Club made so many heroic saves. But ultimately, this one, there's no way they can fish it out of, out of their net. Radiance Era with a tense overtime. Will win the series three games to one. And you can hear me elevate my voice in that series for a very, for a very sp certain reason. Overtime brings out the best in teams, but for Silly Geese Club here, their first loss of the season, Radiance Era, a huge win to, put themselves, to keep themselves in the top shelf, in the top of this league. 
course, that will not be it. We're going to get an interview here with the Radiance Era team. Before we end off the stream tonight. As, my goodness, Radiance, I said they would need an early start. They got an early start. They got games one and two. Ooh, that's what I look like? <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm surprised you've never seen me before, Florio. Yes, here I am. I'm, I'm ugly. Don't worry about it. Yes, this is what I look like. I have a face cam. Uh, for my streams. Where do you go? Um, don't worry, I'll make sure to... One second, I'll make sure to get it for you, don't worry. Just wait. I'll make this easy for you. There you go. You join my, you join my voice call, Tiger. Nah, I'm ugly. Well, I've never seen you before, Florio, so... I don't know what it, I don't know. And hey, look! Tiger's here! Hello, Tiger! Congratulations hey. on your win tonight! Appreciate... Um, can I invite my team here, too? Because they hard-carried me that series. Hey, perfectly fine. I, 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 I want... Uh, you know, if you want more... You want your whole team to join, I have no problem with that. I appreciate you. Just let them join. I'll make sure to get them added to this. I just sent them the link in our group chat. Cool. By the way, you're on stream. Say hi to stream. And actually, say hi to Florio, because Flo I know Florio is still here. Oh, okay, well. You know, I... Oh, I'm so sorry, Florio. <laughs> I should... I'm still making sure that they get in here for the interview. Yeah, are they, they joining? Yeah, they, they, they're able to now. Dez is here. What up, Dez? Dez? There we go. Oh. Dez, you here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, right. there, there we are. Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome to, the, welcome to the voice call. Congratulations on your win tonight again. Uh, but I first want to ask this. Y you, you, guys, you guys did know Silly Geese Club was 3 know before... Uh, this series, did that have any effect on how you guys played tonight? I know, obviously you guys won, but Tiger, did that fair no record have anything affecting how you guys played tonight? No, I mean, we see the record, we see that they're undefeated. I mean, it kind of makes you try harder to, you know, ruin their little win <laughs> win streak that they got going. It always feels good once you beat a undefeated team, especially if they're like top right now, which they were number one in BLCS right now. Yeah, they were number one in your grouping, but you took it to them. Descent. What, what, what do you think were your keys to success? Like, did you, uh, how, how did you guys play better than them? What do you think worked so well? Because you guys got an early start. Was that something your was, was that something your team was counting on as well uh, to get that early start and to really take the fight to Silly Geese Club uh, immediately in the series? Honestly, what's it called? We at first, like our rotations and all that stuff, were kind of a bit wacky, and uh, we took upon it ourselves to get ourselves a coach. Um, and we pretty much just like, we pretty much built up on it, took the lightning pod reviews and all that stuff. And we're pretty much trying to patch all of our areas where we're weaking and we're now we're just building up and we're just going to keep playing and playing and playing. And hopefully it just makes it better. And let's call us are playing together perfectly. Honestly. It makes a lot of sense. You know, you work together, you get better as the series goes on as, uh, Man, PK, take me through that, that overtime that ended off the series. The first ever overtime in the series. Game two was close as well. What, uh, what did you guys, like, what did you like, think to yourself during those, that close game two and that close game four uh, when, you know, you were just barely a, a better than Silly Geese Club in the end? What, what, do you, what were you kind of thinking to yourself? Uh, the, it's just going to be a tough series is overall. So we just need to keep playing better or as a team and calming more. Okay. Just like pull out the wins. 
say? What did you just say? It was like it was kind of like business like usual. You didn't really think about how close the game really was. Uh, no. You want to try and not think about the series score of it. Just play it like it's the final match. So give it your all the entire time. I like that kind of commitment. Now, uh, I, I want to go back to you, Tiger, with that win. Is that a message to anybody else in this league? If Actually, if you have a message for anybody else in the league, uh, here's your time to say it. To, uh, anybody in the league, anybody in the league who, you know, anybody in the league who you're going to play up against, uh, because, you know, your season hasn't started out as well as the league is close, but now you've kind of gotten even with them, and you're proven that you're up there with the best of them. Is there, again, is there any sort of a message that you send to the... Uh, other teams in your group that you're going to be playing against soon enough because I'm sure now after that one they're going to be on high alert whenever they see Radiance Era's name up on the board. Honestly, I mean, like, I'm not trying to like say anything, but our la our first loss was actually against Eevee Coronis, and they beat us because Des here decided to oversleep, <laughs> and, and we uh, had to throw in a sub last minute, but then. After that, we've been just working together as a team. I mean, like, I think we, in our group, I think we are one of the, at least, top, maybe top two teams now since we beat them. But, I mean, anyone who plays us, we're just trying to look better and we're not trying to take any more else. And if we lose again, we're just going to continue to scram and work as a team and we'll fix our mistakes. And then if we get a rematch, we'll be stronger than what they've seen before. Yeah, I mean, that makes a lot... Uh, again, that, that makes a lot of sense, you know? Uh, Descent, though, do you have any response to Tiger now after Tiger just uh, just flamed you publicly like that? <laughs> I don't blame him because there's a few occasions where I do sleep after a long day of work, so honestly, to them their own, I, we, we lost that game, and that's on me, so I fully take the heat. So I, next thing I'll do is just freaking prepare for it next time. Yeah, someone, someone's going to get, like, the Descent a better alarm clock here. Um... <laughs> Uh, but no, again, a great series. Congratulations! Uh, congrat. Wow, I can't speak English apparently. Uh, that usually happens while I'm casting, not in the interview. But con congratulations on your win tonight. There we go. Got it out and got it out there in one piece. Uh, hope this, hopefully, uh, the stream will catch more of your action later on in the season because you do have a very exciting playstyle and again, an exciting win here against Tilly Geese Club. Again, you guys are you guys are trying to fight to become one of those top teams. Well. Now you are up there with them after taking that to Silly Geese Club being their first loss. Again, thank you so much for joining. But before you do go, we always end off interviews with this. A quick shout out section. Uh, we'll start with the we'll start with the PK. Do you do you have anyone uh, that you want to shout out? Uh yeah, my mom. She gets me Taco Bell and it makes me happy. <laughs> w. That's about it. About it. All right. Well, you know. I I've heard, I've heard no. you know, I've heard, I've heard some pretty simple things. Uh, Descent, you're next. Tiger, we're gonna have you uh, last. I'm going to shout out my uh, college, St. Clair College, and uh, my family. Uh, what's called those, those two are really the reasons why I get better and better every day at Rocket League, and I'm just gonna keep improving and improving. Family of SSLs, that's impressive. Um, yeah, okay, no response to that. <laughs> that joke, that joke, <laughs> that joke wasn't funny enough for all of you. Uh, Tiger, you're... <laughs> Well, thanks, thanks for so, having that. Thanks for having actually, a pity laugh. Thanks for pity, this laugh. is <laughs> pity laughing. But our... you're last up. Who do you want to shout out? I know I've been cutting you, I but mean, who do you want? Who, who do you want to shout? Obviously, and I have I have two super subs that sadly didn't get to play. And our Inferno was supposed to show up just in case. Uno was there just in case, but Inferno loves to sleep. They're they're pretty. They work well with the team. And then Des and PK because we all know I played terrible this series and they carried me. And then um. Actually, this is our first league match in Radiance. We just switched over. Yeah, I do. I was going to say I. Do, I. Do, I. If, I. I was going to say I remembered seeing some sort of announcement from Radiance about picking you guys up. Well, welcome to Radiance. You know, great organization. I'm partnered with them, so so I have. I only have good w. things to say about them. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> w nice. Uh, but again. <laughs> Again, have, have an amazing night. I know you guys have been uh, super nice here, super respectful jumping on for this interview. Uh, but have a good night. You all should go and go and celebrate that win. It was definitely a hard-fought one. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Sporty. Thanks for casting. Yep. Thanks for of casting, course. man. Yep. Have Thanks. a good night. Have a good night. What a series. Well, that'll end it here.
Radiance era in the end get the win. Maybe we'll see them on stream in the future, but for right now, that will be it here. Yeah, of course, fellow, we'll see you soon as well, man. Again, thank you all so much for joining. Great match, though, by the way. My computer is actually working tonight. Big round of applause for my computer for not failing me. Have a good night, everybody.